Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another home video tour. This is Jack Graham, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today this uh, beautiful floor plan by TriPoint Homes. We're looking at 2,337 square feet, single story, two car garage, stunning architectural design from the exterior and interior. Can't wait to show it to you from the inside. It's amazing. Now, we're located at Arrow Peak. This is the newest community that they're about to open right now at the time of this video. Um, we are about two to three days away from being open. So you get a quick peek of what this home looks like. This one is the plan three is the biggest floor plan of the Aero Peak collection. However, they do have some smaller uh, homes in this collection. You have plan one, plan two, and they also have another collection nearby, which is the Alpine Ridge. They have three other models going up all the way to 2,700 square feet with a three car garage. Uh, this specific home starts at $560,000. That is the base price. You have to add also lot premiums, which usually range anywhere between 10 to 12 grand and also structural and design center options that I would say on this house are gonna be probably somewhere around 70 to 80 without flooring. But we'll talk about that when we get inside. Also, uh, this is Arrow Peak, which is in the northwest side of Las Vegas Valley. We're not part of a master plan community over here, but we're right next to Sky Canyon. So you get to access, you know, all the infrastructure of Sky Canyon, but you don't have all the HOA fees here. We have a gated community, about $60 on the HOA. And uh, you do have a nice little park here in this community as well. Only single stories in this neighborhood. And, uh, you know, really nice, uh, really nice uh, neighborhood, I will say. As we go into this house, we'll notice a uh, beautiful design with the stack stone all the way up. This extra stack stone is gonna be with, uh, is gonna come with a bigger, more expensive elevation, which means the exterior of the house. And uh, that's gonna run you around five to six grand extra. As we go into the house, you'll notice a lot of design features that are unique to TriPoint, such as the square footage of the windows and uh, lighting that comes in, as well as the, uh, you know, super tall ceilings in, in all the living room areas. Now, this is going to trick you a little bit, but you're like, because you're like, whoa, this is a huge side yard and you have a, also a huge backyard in the back. This is not what it comes with. The regular lot usually is going to end somewhere over there. So all of this is extra. So it kind of is deceiving. You do have an entrance right here going in. You have a nice uh, courtyard right here. It's about a 12 by 12, good size, but you're not gonna get a huge backyard. You know, like, I mean, it's probably gonna be about this big right here, okay? And then you have over there the, the backyard in the back as well, which gives you plenty of room, I'll tell you that. Going into the house, we have a side entrance here. This, uh, this courtyard right here is optional. With, uh, with that gate, you can do it if you want to, if it bothers you to have a side entrance. Uh, so you have that front entrance over there. Going into the house, we have a beautiful design here with the bolted ceilings, huge open space, kitchen kind of tucked away over here to the left. And then you have that nice open floor plan with huge dining room and huge living room. And then the way this one blends together is awesome. The design team did a great job with the grays, the browns, the whites, the, I mean, the flyer place right there. This is gorgeous. But yeah, right here we have, over there in the back, your primary bedroom, big sliding door to the backyard. We'll see a pool also in the backyard. And then you have right there, uh, your pantry. And then this is gonna have on this side, another two bedrooms. And I think the laundry room is in the back, but we'll go there in a second. So we'll start over here to the left of the house. This is the optional fourth bedroom if you want an extra bedroom. Otherwise, this is the second den space. This would be uh, an oversized coat closet with the linen closet as well. On this side, we have this extra space, like a game room or den, whatever you want to make it. This is a nine foot ceiling here. And uh, we go over here to the back and we have an own, uh, its own ensuite bedroom as you can see, and it's a good sized bedroom. This is the one in the front, so it has big windows from the front of the house, letting in plenty of light. 
And then an oversized closet here, sliding door closet, because it goes all the way from here, all the way down for the whole size of the wall, okay? As far as the hangers go. Then this one is gonna have its own uh, bathroom, which is great, single sink. Then you have your toilet and a fiberglass enclosure, tub and shower combo, okay? Now included, we're gonna talk about included options once we get to the kitchen and all, but uh, for the most part, everything is included here other than what you see, the bells and whistles, like the flooring, uh, you know, the cabinets style and all that stuff. But as far as the fiberglass, it's included, you get the sink, you get the toilet, it's just gonna look a little bit different than what you see. And then as far as here, uh, everything is included here, it's the structural side. Over here, you can add another bedroom if you want. If you don't need this extra space, you have plenty of room in there. I can guarantee you that for a four bedroom house. Going on this side, we'll have their entrance uh, from the garage. Right now, they use it as storage. So they store doors and appliances and stuff like that. They use it as storage so you can't go in there and see it. But it's a nice two car garage. It's very deep, about 22 feet deep. So it's nice. Over here, we have the shared bathroom. This will be the bathroom for this bedroom if you decide to make it into a bedroom and also for the bedroom in the back over here making it three bedrooms on this side plus the primary over there this is the the bathroom one sink toilet and then this one they upgraded to the walk-in shower that's about a two grand upgrade to get the glass in the walk-in shower fiberglass enclosure and then you can also go all out and do all your tile selection if you want to we'll talk about how much it's going to cost you however out the door because the base price is somewhere around 560 right now at the moment of this video but obviously uh you know after all the upgrades i'm going to tell you what you're going to be at for this house good size bedroom here it's uh 10 by 11 maybe 11 by 11 even uh sliding door closet here and going in here we have a beautiful luxury vinyl plank now i love the color choices on this one this is probably what i would want my house to look like but this is not what's included the waterfall finish here is not included big size island though um, the luxury vinyl plank this flooring is super expensive with them i would not recommend you to do it with tripoint although i love them as a builder their design center is just nuts when it comes to flooring pricing uh your your kitchen right here is a great size all the cabinets come with even cabinets over there in the corner right there and off the shelves we did that for the model home and then you have right here your ge appliance packages which is the microwave on top of the oven with the cooktop uh, right here and the hood on top uh, that's all included in the base price okay you can get the microwave on top if you want to and all that stuff over here in the kitchen island we have a waterfall finish that's upgrade and you can choose whatever you want in the house. You can select it if you get a home that was built from scratch, or you can go with one of their spec homes where they have options already selected. And you have to pay, however, for the options. You know, it's just that you get a, you don't get to choose what, what you get in, but the delivery time frame is going to be a lot faster. All right, look how big this is. I mean, the amount of space in between all the sections here. You look at that big eight foot uh, eight seat table look how much room it has around it enough room right there for the sliding door that will lead out to the courtyard you have all these windows one two three four five six windows all surrounding this place letting in plenty of light and then over here in the back what's cool about this one is that they put the laundry room behind the kitchen so we have sink washer and dryer and then the smart panel over here as well your upper cabinets are optional it comes with a a rack a wooden rack and then another window here in the laundry room with your pantry back here and it's a good size pantry because when you go in you also have some extra space over here behind nice uh what the sink is also not included that would be an upgrade three to four grand for the whole setup here plus the uppers another two plus the you're looking at 10 grand in here between flooring and all of this washer and dryer which are not included so it can get expensive really fast. Usually people do that, all that stuff after. Now, let's talk about numbers before we go into the primary bedroom. Actually, no, let's go to the primary bedroom, then we'll come back and talk about numbers, where you're gonna be at with this house. We do have here your living room. Look how spacious it is. The electric fireplace, that's about a 48 inch wide one. And then they put the stack stone all the way up, matching the stone, I think, to the outside. I'm not 100% sure. 
Now the size of the backyard here is very, it's awesome. I love the size of the backyard. We'll go and see that in a second. Linen closet over here, primary is a really good size also. So bigger than the other homes that they have in this neighborhood. And I like that because we have about 18 feet, maybe 19 feet on this wall by approximately 15 on that one. So you could put another bed in over here if you wanted to, another king size bed. And then we have nine foot ceilings in all the bedrooms, the living room, had, it goes vaulted all the way to 12 foot. In here we have uh, separate sinks, so that's nice. And then a nice window, letting in all this light. Over here, the glass has not been installed yet, but it'll have, as you can see, that trim right there is gonna have a glass coming out here, and then a glass door on this side with the thick glass. Now included, you'll get this size shower, but it's not gonna come with that tile. So that tile is gonna be another five, six grand of design center, if you wanna choose that. Over here, we have the water closet. And then going in here, we have your primary closet, which is a really good size, especially if you custom design it like this one. All right, so big windows also in here. Going out to the backyard, I can't show it to you from here. We'll go out from the from the from the side in a second. But actually, let's go do that really quick right now, and then we talk about numbers in a second. Okay. So the backyard size, as I mentioned, this is an oversized lot because it's wider than the other ones, and depth is about the same. But this one has an extra 10 feet right here out. So don't consider all that extra space right there. And then you can see here. It's cut out to probably somewhere right there is where the backyard is going to finish. So you wouldn't be able to do what they did in this home with that, the double pool right here, which is awesome, but that's not going to happen. Okay. Uh, you'll be able to put in a pool just like that one, but not with this one. Now it's also, um, they have, uh, right here a lock right now on the, on the, on the gate. So I can't get in, but I can show you a little bit from the inside what's included and what's not in uh, in this floor plan. Now, price range. Looking at starting price of 560. Once you go into, uh, we'll go into the numbers in a second, but here I wanna show you this back here really quick. So this is the built-in covered patio that they offer. This one's gonna run you somewhere around 12 grand. It will come with a concrete slab underneath or pavers, and then you, if you want, you can just do a lattice one with them. It's gonna cost you a little bit less. This is gonna be somewhere around 12 to 13 grand. The regular lattice one is gonna be somewhere around seven. And then as you can see here, you can put a pool here in this back here because it's pretty big, about 20 feet from that side of the house to the back. And then, you know, you can put a nice pool the size of this one, just extended. Um, included, it'll just come with dirt all around it. The pavers will only be underneath the covered patio. Now numbers, stock numbers, starting at 560. They have right now one available of this one at 620 without the flooring. That's gonna have upgraded cabinets. So it's gonna look similar to this with the cabinets, similar uh, countertops without the uh, waterfall, because this is a quartz. It will have, you know, hardware, things like that, maybe the included appliance package. And it will have all the structural options here, such as the, the slope roof and all that stuff. It's just not gonna have the flooring. This is the price out the door without the flooring, 620. They have one available right now. If you want to put in the flooring, and I don't suggest you do it with the builder because they're expensive, it's probably gonna run you somewhere around 50 to 60 grand with them, uh, what you see in this house. On top of that, you have another uh, you know, any other upgrades that you want to put into the house, uh, you know, if you want to go above and beyond and make it look even bigger, uh, even better than the model home, then you can be more expensive. But let's say you put 50,000 in flooring at 620. You want something similar to the model home with the flooring done already. You're looking at that upper 600 price range right now. So 670 or so out the door, or you can get it for 620 and do it yourself for another 10 grand. You can do your own flooring. That's up to you, but 
let's say you want to save some money and you want to get something that is less expensive you don't want to go all out so maybe not do the flooring but also not get as many upgrades in the house you can build something yourself and you'll save some money there but uh you're probably going to be somewhere in the 590 to 600 price range out the door and then you have to do your own upgrades after or you can go all out and do something like the model home and spend over 700,000. up to you but that's pretty much where you're going to be it's a good um price range will give you at the moment of this video at least i don't know if the prices are going to go up once they open uh, but that's where they're at if you guys however need someone uh, to purchase a house uh, you need a realtor to represent you all my services are free to you because the builder pays for my commission and also on top of that uh, they pay for the service for you where which includes also finding you the right neighborhood for you just to make sure that this is the right place for you finding the right house showing you all the options out there and then, you know, if there's another builder that you like better, we can go to the other builder, or maybe there's a resale house that you like better. That's what you hired a realtor for, to show you all the options. You're like, oh yeah, Jack, but I, I saw it online already. I know what, it... there's always something that you don't know that an expert that is always in the field knows about the homes. And also not only that, the knowledge to get you uh, into the right house and get you the right breakdown of how much this house is gonna cost you out the door, the incentives, where we can negotiate. Can we negotiate at all? Can we not? You don't know that as a buyer. So going in um, with uh, with the knowledge is going to is gonna help you because it's going to give you an advantage compared to all the other uh, buyers out there. So that's pretty much it for my pitch. If you guys need any help uh, purchasing a home, feel free to reach out to me. All my information is down, is down there in the description. And uh, if you don't want to go with me because you have another realtor, please use another realtor or at least go in with a realtor and um and yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys let me know what you guys think about these houses and i'll see you guys on the next one hit the like button and subscribe to the channel